Justin, do you want me to make dinner tonight? Nah, let's just go out. Sounds good. Where do you want to go? Um... Maybe somewhere nice? So we could go to the little Italian restaurant that I've always wanted to try. Yes, let's do that. Sounds good. I'll change. Okay. Everyone thinks they know someone. They think they can trust them. Completely. And that is the very thing that gets them hurt. Hey, how are you? Hey, I've been good. How about yourself? What have you been up to? Well, I'm finishing wrapping up the last of Justin's gifts. It's his birthday tomorrow, right? So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna bring him lunch tomorrow at work? I mean, he's normally playing tennis at lunch, but yeah, I should. That's a great idea. Thanks, Vic. Cheating on me. What? Sarah, what are you talking about? <laughs> Justin, Justin is cheating on me. I went to the tennis courts to bring him lunch. Great idea, by the way. And I, I saw him with some girl. I, I don't know, he's, he's cheating on me. Calm down, love. It's gonna be okay. Do you want me to come over? No. No, I, I can handle this. Vulnerable 911, what's your emergency? He just dropped. I don't know what happened. We were playing tennis. Where are you now, ma'am? Vulnerable Park? Grabbed his left arm. I think it was a heart attack. He's unresponsive. Defense pads are on. Stand back. Get him to St. Martin's ASAP. Dispatch all units. All EMTs needed. We have multiple calls countywide. All seem to be suffering from some form of cardiac arrest. Hello? Hey, are you okay? Justin just got ruled in here on a stretcher. Do you know what happened? Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. It looked really bad. I, I have to go. What did you do? Okay. We need our best forensics team on this. Now. 